we stayed up for half an hour and I didn't stop beaming. My smile was just printed on my face and it was like the realisation that I can actually do this sport and be in a wheelchair and not be confined to the ground, that was just some kind of elation. Hi, my name is Paul Roberts and I'm a glider pilot. I've been flying gliders now for 11 years and I started off my gliding um, hobby in Rattleston in Suffolk, a very small gliding club. Later on I moved to Hampshire and I now fly at Lashen, which is actually the biggest gliding club in Europe. The type of gliding that I'm interested in is cross-country flying. And for this, you take off, you find a column of lifting air, we call this a thermal, and you turn the glider and you climb all the way to the base of the clouds. From there, you can glide onto the next cloud and repeat the process, find a column of lifting air and climb. Essentially, it's possible to travel for hundreds of miles. It's a fascinating sport, it requires lots of different um, skill sets and very, very rewarding. In this practical setup, we can measure the lift created by a wing or an airfoil. Now, when the air travels over an airfoil, it produces lift. The wing is balanced and we re reach a state of equilibrium. This happens because as the air travels around the airfoil, the air that travels over the top of the airfoil travels faster and therefore at a lower pressure than the air that is travelling underneath the airfoil. The air underneath the airfoil is at a higher pressure and this is what lifts the wing into the air. Now how can we experimentally measure this lift? Well we can, instead of having air travelling over the wing, air travelling underneath the wing, the wing having a higher pressure below producing the lift, we can balance the same force using a piece of blue tack on the other side of the wing. And now the wing is in an equilibrium and it's balanced also, but instead of having air producing the lift, we're balancing it with this blue tack. Now, by knowing the mass of the blue tack, which is 6.1 grams, I can then determine the force that the blue tack must be pushing down on the wing to balance it. So we have here the mass of the blue tack is 6.1 grams and converting that to kilos that's 0 0.0061 grams. I've divided by a thousand. I know that force is mass times acceleration. The acceleration in question here is gravity, the acceleration pulling the blue tack down. So force is mass times acceleration acceleration being 9.81 meters per second squared. 0 0.0061 multiplied by 9.8 will give me 0 0.060 newtons. Now this may not sound like a large amount of force, but you've got to remember that the hairdryer was blowing air very slowly over the wing, and also it's a very small um, cross-sectional area of a wing. It was an absolutely amazing experience, something that I would love to do again. It changed my life completely, it's the best thing I've ever done. It was awesome, it really was. The experience of a lifetime, beautiful. I take up slack. All out, all out. Got winched out so there was a, a sort of short period of quite intense acceleration but really enjoyable uh, and then all of a sudden you're off in the air.
Hi, we hope you enjoyed the challenge and found it fun and interesting. We're from Junior Gliding. I'm Lucy and I'm 17 and I've been gliding for three years. And I'm Em, I'm 16 and I've been gliding for two. Did you know that you can fly on your own in a glider before you can drive a car? If you want to find out more about gliding, go to the British Gliding Association website, www.gliding.co.uk. There are around 80 gliding clubs across the UK. We hope to see you in the skies soon.